Hey everybody, this is Andrew, CTO of Portland Labs and Concrete Core Team Leader. Today I'd like to show you a new feature in version 9, our rebuilt theme skin and customization engine. This is our theme customizer in version 855. It's been relatively unchanged since we launched 5.7. We're pretty proud of it. It has lots of features and functionality. It's built on less, offers support for many different field types, multiple presets, and more. This is what it looks like to use. You choose from different presets on the top, which load values into the palettes on the left, and then you make your choices, preview on the right, and save your changes. Unfortunately, there's one big problem here. In the last six or seven years, Less has taken a backseat to SAS in the world of CSS processors. Furthermore, the basis for our Bedrock theme library, Bootstrap, really doesn't even offer a Less option by default. So having our theme customizer built on Less when Bootstrap, the basis for our themes, doesn't support it, isn't going to work. That's why we've rebuilt the theme customizer for version 9 to use SAS or Less. As you might imagine, this has required a complete re-architecture and rewrite, but the results speak for themselves. Here we have our elemental theme, built on Bedrock using Bootstrap 5. Our current Concrete version 9 beta has two skins in it, this default skin and Night Road. In version 9, these theme skins are choosable in the dashboard. Select the theme and the skin for the site, and your site immediately uses that skin. Here I have selected Night Road, but if I go back to the dashboard and click Default, the default skin is immediately used. The skin is pre-compiled, so everything is extremely fast. Additionally, since these skins are shipped with the theme, you can use these skins without making your theme customizable. That's right, if you're a theme developer, you can ship your theme with multiple flavors of color, font, images, and other variable choices pre-selected in CSS bundles with your theme. The editors and administrators of the site can choose which skin to use, and they don't even have to use the customizer. You can set this through code as well. If you do want to use the customizer, just click the Preview and Customize button in the dashboard. Click on the Edit icon and you'll be presented with all the preset skins. Choose one as your starting point. Here's me customizing the default skin. You click the values on the left and watch the preview change on the right. I've changed the logo in a pretty significant way. This works very similarly to the current customizer. Themes define a styles XML file that lists all the customizable styles. Within the customizable variables SAS file, we put all the variables listed in our styles XML that are customizable. The customizer loads those default values for the skin into the customizer. This process is better than in the old customizer for a couple reasons. First, the old customizer used to force you into using certain prefixes for variables, like slash color and slash type for the various color and font fields. This customizer doesn't do that. For example, you can see I'm using the standard bootstrap primary color field here in my customizer. By setting this, bootstrap will be fully updated to use whatever primary color I choose in all its core components. Additionally, you can see we can specify whatever custom fonts we use in this new web fonts section, which powers all of my font family controls. Additionally, you don't have to use the combination type control in order to just set certain things like font family. All font related controls like font family, text decoration, text transform can have standalone controls included in the left panel. Grouped controls are still available. The type control will group all related type controls into a flyout panel. Only those fields that are actually customizable will be included. For example, my logo has all these variables available in the customizable variables file. The font family, the font color, size, weight, style, decoration, and transform. However, not all of these attributes 
are customizable in all these different headings. Once I've got a design that I like, I can click Save down here to create a new skin. Default skins that ship with the theme can be chosen and used as starting points, but they cannot be updated. But you can create custom skins from those starting points, and you can modify those skins over time as well. Now that I've created my new skin, I can go back to the dashboard and apply it. See, Elemental Red shows up right here. Click this button, and just like that, my new skin is applied to my site. Now let's answer some questions. This theme customizer that you've seen today uses SAS. Is less supported? The answer is yes, although I'm sure support in current version 9 release candidate branch is fully broken. That's simply because we haven't been testing with it. The way that the theme customizer has been rebuilt, however, makes less support very possible, and it's something that we want to support before our full 9.0 release. Currently, themes built for the previous version of the customizer do work but we'll want to be doing much more testing of this once our first release candidate has been released. I hope you've enjoyed this sneak preview of the new theme skin and customization engine in version 9. Let's talk again soon.